Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the cleat pin in Isometric, and this is on the Toe Stop project. The first step that I'm going to do, I'm looking at this help sheet here, and it kind of walks me through step by step exactly the, the steps that I need to take to construct this. I'm going to go with just step one. I'll just follow through these steps. So if you have this worksheet yourself, you can follow the steps as well. So I'm going to start off by just drawing, drawing that overall cylinder the longest one. So I'm going to start with an isocircle. So that's the ellipse. I for isocircle. Just click anywhere to get it started. And we're going to just keep pressing F5 until we get to the iso left circle. And it has a diameter of the enter 0.50. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this thing back anywhere for base point. We're just going to pull it straight back and the overall distance is 5.38 but that includes that bigger cylinder at the head of it. So I'm going to make it, which is that's 0.38, so I'm going to make this one just a distance of 5. Once I've got that, let's just go ahead and connect. Kind of close this off, make it into a cylinder here. We're going to go from quadrant to quadrant. All right, trim this guy out looking good. So I've got my cylinder here. Now that I've got that cylinder, we're going to go ahead and put that little that little through hole through. So I've got this overall cylinder and I'm going to put this little through hole here. So it tells me that um, step two, I'm going to draw a line from the center here and then I'm going to draw a line straight back and then I'm going to put an iso circle right there. So I'm going to draw a couple of construction lines. So I'll, I'll come back in here and from the center, just snap to the center O snap. If this was a diameter of 0.50, then my, my line is going to be 0.25, and then out here, and this overall distance is another 0.25, and I'm just going to do an isocircle, I for isocircle, start it right here, and just keep pressing F5 until we get our iso right circle, and this one actually has a diameter, so D enter 0.12, diameter of 0.12, and it's good. I don't need these guys anymore. So I've got that guy right where I need it. The next step that I'm going to do is to draw a the smaller, because this has actually a little chamfer in here, so I need to actually draw in that smaller iso circle here. It tells me step 5 that that's a 0.38 diameter ellipse. And to get that, you can always go back to your original drawing. Let's see if I can find it and you could just measure this distance right here to get that smaller diameter. So ISO circle, same center point, F5 to get the ISO left and diameter of 0.38. The next step that I need to do, that chamfer was a 0 0.06 chamfer, so I'm just going to use my move command. I'm going to take that biggest diameter and move it back that 0.06 and then I'll just trim this up. So trim here, trim here, trim there, and it looks pretty fabulous. Very good, I've got my little chamfer here. Now what I'm gonna do is work on that bigger cylinder up there. So again, looking back at my sketch, I've got everything kind of drawn through here. Now I'm gonna be working on this, kind of the head of that little pin. And it gives me the different diameters here. It's gonna start off with an overall diameter of 1.13, it's got a smaller diameter after that chamfer of 1.01 .01, and the total distance is going to be 0.38. So knowing all of that, I'll come back in here and I'm going to draw my first iso circle. Take it from the center of this, F5 till I get the one that I need, and the first one is a diameter of 1.13. And the second one, I'm just going to do two concentric, just right at the same time. The second one, I'll start here, I for ISO circle, select, and this one it tells me is a diameter of 1.01. .01. So I've got my two ISO circles. I'm actually going to copy both of them back. For me, I just feel like this is an easier way to do it. So I'm going to copy both of these guys back that distance. Since that chamfer is on both sides, I'm going to copy it back that total distance of 0.38. Now that I've got this, I'm going to take the larger circle and I'm going to bring both of the larger ones in that offset of 0.06. So I'm going to do my copy command. Select this guy right here, bring him over point, oh, I'm not the copy, let's do the move command. Move, 
select this guy, bring it over 0.06, move this one back 0.06, and let's go ahead and connect these guys from quadrant to quadrant, just connecting the largest diameters here. Oops, didn't need that line. Quadrant to quadrant. And this is the tough part, just coming in here and, and trimming this thing up because it gets a little bit confusing looking. But we're just going to trim, press enter, and we're going to come through here and just trim out all the stuff that we don't want to see. So let's see, I don't need that smaller ISO circle. I'm just going to deal with one at a time, so I don't need that one. I can see just a little bit of it back there. I'm going to go ahead and trim this guy. And it's looking good. I think I'm done. So I've got my um, cleat pin fully drawn and isometric with the chamfers that I needed. So your final product, looking back at this sketch here, your final product should look like this.